Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Troy from Cichlid Bros. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving a tour of all of my basement aquariums. When it comes to Cichlid Bros, the channel, I am one of three brothers, but in today's video, we're only gonna be focusing on my tanks, and I'm really excited to discuss what's going on in each of my different setups. So, let's dive right in. Okay guys, so we're just gonna do a quick tour of my basement aquariums here. I'm gonna spend a few minutes on each of my tanks just to explain what's going on, what's in the tank itself, and just some updates in general. So let's start here with the 180 gallon aquarium. So this 180 gallon aquarium has been up and running for about two years now. These are all South American cichlids. The biggest fish I have here is my Oscar. This is Nessie. And then I have four different Severum cichlids, and this is one of my favorite fish. That's why I have so many of them, obviously. I have Big Red, the Red Spotted Gold Severum. I have a Turquoise, a Red Shoulder Severum, and a smaller Red Spot Severum in this tank. I also have a variety of Earth Eater cichlids, so seven Geophagus Tapahos. I have a Geophagus Dindacnari, and a Satanopericus Jirupari. So this tank has been doing really well over those two years. I've had a lot of these cichlids longer than that two year span. I've had some for over three years now and they've done really well together and this is a really enjoyable tank. As you can see, my Oscar has done a little rearranging and knocked over the driftwood here. But overall, I don't have to do too much other than my regular weekly water changes and a little bit of scrubbing off the algae. This tank is run by two FX canister filters, although one of the canisters did crap out on me, so I'm going to be adding a different filter to this tank soon. But overall, it's just a really nice cichlid community tank, and uh, I'm looking forward to just seeing how this grows over time. So next, we're going to go over here. And this is my 150 gallon custom made aquarium from Custom Aquariums. So this was set up about two months ago and it's still kind of growing in here. This has South American cichlids again, but I would say these cichlids are a little more on the peaceful end. And some of these cichlids do better when it comes to live plants. So that's what I did here. I have a variety of South American cichlids and all of these do fairly well when it comes to plants. I have a variety of different Anubias plants, and I just started planting some as well. I'm going to be adding more plants to this tank and maybe a few extra fish as well in the very near future, so watch out for an update video to come on that. But overall, this custom aquarium is awesome. I love the overall quality of this, and it actually comes with a sump as my filter, which has been one of my favorite parts about this aquarium, hands down, is just having that seamless sump down there. It does such a great job of filtering the tank and keeping everything crystal clear, so I love that aspect of this tank. A lot of people ask me what lighting I have on here. These are two AI Prime 16s. I actually have these turned down to only about 10% power because they're very powerful lights if you have them on full blast. A lot of the plants I have in here don't really require that full spectrum of lighting, so I keep it pretty low and that also helps with some of the algae issues in this tank. Okay, so those are the two big display aquariums. Let's head into my fish room to show what's been going on there, which has a lot of updates. Okay guys, so first here I do have some of my dry goods and equipment. As you can see, I have some of the food that I go with. A lot of what I feed my cichlids are different pellets and flakes. I usually go with the Extreme brand. That's really been a preferred brand when it comes to food for me over the years. I also have my fertilizers from Aquarium Co-op. I have all of my different pumps from Ciche. And then I use a lot of chemicals from Seachem. And of course my chemical filtration is always Kimmy Pure. I swear by that stuff, it makes your tank crystal clear. Okay, and then just coming into the fish room here, this is the double rack that me and my brothers built. Down on the bottom is a 40 breeder, and then up on top is a 33 gallon Fubal Flex. 
So just starting here with the African Shell Dweller tank, this has been up and running for about a year and a half now. And it's been doing really well in terms of the fish. They have been breeding like crazy. I started with about eight African Shell Dwellers and there's currently about 25. I would say there's probably about 35 or 40 when it comes to the small babies that are still in the shells right now. I've had had some issues with algae and just getting that under the control. The tank looks much better than it has over the last couple of months, but I really didn't want to disturb the African shell dwellers as they were breeding so often, but now I'm kind of getting the rhythm of not disturbing them too much, but also keeping up with the maintenance of this tank. But it's a, a really unique tank setup to watch and I, I really enjoy keeping them. Down here on the bottom rack, this is a 40 gallon breeder. And this is actually a cold water aquarium. These are Gymnogeophagus terra purpura. They are from Uruguay, which is in South America that has colder winter seasons. So these guys actually prefer some of those colder temps. Um, they're not your typical tropical fish that requires a 78 to 82 degrees. So this tank is currently only at about 65 degrees, which is about room temp being pretty cold in this area of the basement and they are thriving with these temperatures. I've only had them for about four months so far and they've already doubled in size going from about one inch in size to two inches and all seven are still here and doing really well for my original setup. I'm really looking forward to seeing these guys double in size yet again and just show some of the awesome coloration that they get as adults. So that does it for the double rack here. Next up is my 75 gallon peacock cichlid tank. So this is relatively new when it comes to setup. I got all of these peacock cichlids in a recent video, which I posted about three weeks ago. Currently, these are all male peacock cichlids, and I did that for a few reasons. First, the male peacock cichlids are the ones that get all the color, as your peacocks that are female will usually be pretty dull and gray. And also, if you have any females in the tank, it dramatically increases aggression as they will fight over the female and fight each other, sometimes to the death. So that's one way to mitigate any aggression issues when it comes to peacock cichlids is making sure you have either an all male setup or if you do have males and females to have much more females than you do males. But these guys are all about three to four inches and they'll probably double in size as well. And I can't wait to see this tank grow into its full maturity. And real quickly, as you can see with the aquascape, there's pretty minimal decor. And that's because these peacock cichlids prefer a lot of open swimming space. And actually providing too much decor in the tank can create territories that they fight over. So when it comes to peacocks and haps, you want to have a pretty minimal decor most of the time. But overall, this is a really cool tank and it's very different than my South American setups as these guys are so active and colorful. So then just to finish off the video, I do have a 20 gallon tank that is currently just a temporary tank. It's a holding tank. And this has my Nicaraguan cichlid, which didn't really fit with any of my other setups. It's a Central American, so it didn't really fit in my big display tanks with South Americans and it didn't really go with any of my African setups either. So currently that's a temporary tank and I'm looking for a new home for that Nicaraguan cichlid. Um, I think I found one that's gonna be a really good spot for that fish. I've had it for about two years, so I definitely wanna make sure it goes to a good home. And then very last, I do have a temporary 10 gallon setup under this tank and that's just running a sponge filter. There's nothing in it right now, but I did have my electric blue cars breeding. And if they do that again, I plan to pull out the babies and grow them out in here. And this is just cycling the sponge filter. So I'm able to do that pretty soon here. And so those are all my aquariums, but I do have a koi pond. Let's go check that out real quick. Okay, so this is my backyard koi pond. I just opened it up coming out of spring by turning on the pump and the waterfall and getting the water circulating again. But the good news is that all seven of my koi survived the winter. It's really a cool thing that koi can go into a hibernation mode and survive under the ice and snow during the winter season. I'm not going to show too much of this koi pond because I want to do a future video on this coming very soon. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. Okay guys, that does it for today's video. I hope you like seeing all the updates on my aquariums. I'll be sure to keep the channel posted on some of the new projects and updates that will be coming very soon. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.